Hey y'all, so this is a quick check-in video with my fitness tracking. So last week, mm, we only exercised four days. The goal is five days of the week. I did not do more than three miles in the morning and I did not track the time. So I did incorporate weights and I did do my 30 squats. Now for week three, we are going to try to up this distance. I want to go straight to five, but we are going to push this at four. And I want to get the four done within 45 minutes. I'm not running. I'm walking. So I feel like within 45 minutes, I can probably get the four done. So I'm going to be doing because it's this week is no meat. So it's going to be smoothie and yogurt week. And then for lunch, we're going to do salad. It's going to be Greek because I'm down to my last thing of lettuce. Even though, hey, I can go in my backyard and couple, cut a couple pieces of lettuce. I'm so in because I got lettuce growing. And then... Dinner is going to be shrimp. I took a bag of shrimp out today that I'm going to cook in three different ways. And then I'm going to do rice. And I'm going to just put ND for noodles. For a snack, I didn't buy anything for me to snack on. Yesterday, I was snacking on olives. I like olives. I like green olives and black olives. So the snack, I'm not quite sure what it's going to be because... I thought about it. I was like, I ran out of baby carrots. I do have celery. So, actually, we'll just put fruit. Because I do have some apples and I have bananas. So, we are going to try out a new fitness video. It's supposed to be kind of like dancing. So, it's called 8 Fitness. So, we are going to do that three days. And we are still going to do our 30 minute regular um, workout. Because the eight fitness, I think she said that they're really short. She was like, they are under, she was like, they're like 15 minute uh, increments. So I can do those in the morning and we are going to do our 3.30 a.m. walk and then do the second part at 5 p.m. So I want to get back into doing my early morning walk and doing my evening walk. And truth be told, when I was doing it this way, I was able to get five miles done throughout the day and still do my regular total body workout. So I would do two and a half miles in the morning come back in the house, do my total body workout, get ready for work. After work, I would walk another two and a half miles and then just do some light stretching in there. Um, this week, uh, oh, I need to increase my greens. I did not, aside from my smoothies, I did not eat a lot of greens this past week. Increase greens. So I did buy kale, so that'll work because I like kale. So we are staying on, we are filling this out. Now the goal is to stay on track. So every day that I do these items, I'll put a check mark in here. And then we'll see. Hopefully, at the end of the month, we have seen some progress. Fingers crossed. Um, I did. Ooh, at the end of February, I did actually gain two pounds. So, and I messed up because March 1st, I did not weigh myself. So I'm just, so I'm going to leave that one blank and just assume we were still at the 227. And then we'll just put the end part of March. Now, I need to get my other half to help me to write in my measurements because he don't want to, um, 
he feels like I'm setting him up. That's I'm going to tell you what he said. The man said he felt like I was setting him up. So we still have the remainder of our weeks. So this is my weekly check-in. It is part of my 12-week year goal. So thank you guys. Peace and blessings to you all.